Hello guys, today I'll show you how to create your own ST map in Cinema 4D Redshift to distort an image to create some really nice CCTV effect or a collage effect or a mirror effect, anything basically and you get a free ST map that if you need using in any other project with the same distortion effects and you can pass that on into Nuke or DaVinci and carrying on and carry on the work that you've been doing here. So first of all we need a new Redshift camera. All right, go into the Redshift camera tag to distortion, override and enable. Right click, expression, set driver. Right click again, do the same thing but with absolute. Go into the tag. Okay, into in the search, look for Cinema 4D shader. Drop that in. Connect back to the distortion image. Here, set the resolution to something reasonable. 2048 should be good enough for this project. Remember to set the depth to 32 bits per channel as we need the highest level of detail. Now let's go into layer. Now to create the ST map we need two gradients. That's one, that's two. Now green is left to right and red is bottom to top. So... Right, mm, I keep getting these wrong. Just lower of them down. The frame rate drops dramatically every time I lower these sliders down. For what reason? I don't know. It's very strange. Okay, that's the green one. And the red one. From U to V. Let's drop all these down. Red one's the top one, I think. Yes, top one. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Remember to change <clears throat> the interpolation to smooth, to linear, sorry. As smooth is not going to work with ST maps. I think, yeah, I didn't do it here either. And change this to add. And we did it wrong. Right, so red is left to, okay, so we've got to change this, as it seems. There we go. Right, when we fire up the render view, <clears throat> it should look perfectly normal through this camera. Let's just see if it's working through the right camera, RS camera 1. Let's get rid of the environment, let's zoom out, and it seems to be working just fine. If we rotate it, yeah, that's working as it should. Right, to get the effects in place, let's click effect <clears throat> and transform. And if you want a collage effect, if we want the image to be mirrored from left to right or top to bottom, you can mess around with these scales, if I do 0.5. You can see it already starts mirroring it left to right, and it will mirror it top to bottom here. Um, you can change the angle to 90 degrees. You can do anything that you want really with this. And because we're working in the renderer, it's not doing any post distortion. It's not distorting anything um, with already existing pixels in an MP4 or in an image sequence, so you won't be getting any loss in quality. Let's change this back to 1. So that's one of the effects. We can also go to distort. You can see the noise is starting to be projected onto the ST map and that's working with the camera really well but when you go into cell noise, I think cell noise works best in this case, you can get this really cool pixely look. If we scale up the noise, you get these really big pixels. You can get parts of the image moving individually at different speeds if we change the time scale. You can get a really nice transition from one shot to another or use it for some CCTV effect as well. Um, change this clamp. What does clamp do? I'll just Let's go back to seamless. Yeah, that looks much better. Um, Change it to 200%. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty interesting. That could be used. 
And there you have it guys, um, quick way to create an ST map in Cinema 4D. Very easy, doesn't take long at all. <clears throat> if you do have to do any additional work with the same ST map, ST map, not to worry. You can go back here, you can look for the path, go back to RS camera, to distortion image and the Expresso will generate the actual image into a TIFF that you can then use in Photoshop and then take it into Nuke or DaVinci to show you that it works properly and that it's actually that it does actually exist. There we go. And it's exactly it's got the same distortion. You can see that pixels in, in the wrong place more or less. You can see it still carries the same distortion. So there you have it guys, quick distortion using ST maps in Cinema 4D. Hope I could help.